Hi, my name is Devan Davis and today I'm going to teach you how to create uh, your database uh, with my SQL databases right inside your cPanel account. So first of all, the first thing we have to do is uh, you come to your cPanel login dashboard, you enter your username and the uh, password in, in order to access your uh, uh, cPanel admin dashboard so after that you have to come to so we have columns we have emails we have files SEO and uh, marketing tools so you hover to databases right at the hand right side you have the data, MySQL databases which you have to click on so you wait for so we have create new databases so inside a new databases you have to type uh, any name you want in a uh, smaller test or whatever so after that you click on create database so well okay so i'm going to copy this because that's what i want to use for all my listings so i'm going to go back after creating database that is not all that is the first step we have to do like three steps so now we have our databases here okay but you can see privileged users nothing is there and action you get it so you have to come there then you scroll down to my sql users add new user so i'm going to add that same name here which is the user then you enter the password that you want for the username okay um, do, 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 do. so enter your password okay so i'm gonna uh, type that one again make sure the password corresponds with each other if not your database will not work so click create user well okay good so this is the second method so we come to we go back again so after going back you scroll down 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 then you see add user to database so without that when you create and enter the new user it, it, it doesn't still work unless you add the user to database so we're gonna add user what we just created to the database so i'm gonna select the name here and select the names to here and then click add user make sure uh, you click on all privileges and then check all this make sure all these things are checked then you then you click make changes well wow. so our database is now ready so you're gonna go to your your dots and file so inside so this is my this i'm using a framework laravel framework so i'm gonna um, move this thing from local host to my particular place that i want okay so that is it so i'm gonna enter uh my database which is uh so instead of the laravel i'm gonna use that and then username the same as uh, compared to this and then the password i'm gonna enter the password okay uh, okay so that so that is it that is so we're gonna enter the password after entering the password that's it okay then you click okay um, do, 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 do. i'm gonna Okay, so our section is probably that is why they are asking us to re enter password. So we paste everything here and then the password to 
then you click save changes so that's uh, you are ready to go so okay so thank you for watching this video so this is the simple and then a quicker way of creating uh, a database for your web application uh, right inside your cpanel account okay so that is it thank you very much for watching and please this is your first time don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on the notification bell in order to get in a, any other release or any new tutorial that i'm going to do thank you very much